Greetings! Today is the 22nd of August, 1485, and I am Will Stewart. Here with me is my trusty co-commentator, Sam Bonner. Hello there, pleasure to be here. An almighty battle is brewing on the fields of Bosworth. To our left, on the top of the hill, we can see King Richard III, and his army is amassing with 10,000 men, comprising of foot soldiers, archers, cavalry and cannon. At the base of the hill we have Henry Tudor with a much smaller force of only 5,000 men, but don't underestimate him. Henry's force may be smaller, but it's far more professional and bolstered by well-trained French mercenaries under the command of Philibert de Chandé. Richard has placed his archers and cannon on the front line under the command of the Duke of Norfolk. Richard himself is commanding the rear guard with the Duke of Northumberland, leading the reserve. Now let's take a look at Henry Tudor's forces. Henry Tudor's vanguard is commanded by the Earl of Oxford, who is keeping the army very close together. Sir Gilbert Talbot is leading the right wing, and John Savage is leading the left. Now it looks as if the fight is starting. The Stanleys have taken the most strategic positions. Sir William Stanley is on the Tudor's left, and Lord Stanley is on the right. The Stanley family have yet to declare their allegiance, and their support could decide the battle. Henry Tudor's forces are assaulting Richard's position up the hill. Tudor's forces have sustained heavy casualties, but it looks like the longbowmen he recruited while advancing through Wales have managed to inflict equally severe losses on Richard's forces. Our men are under attack. We must act it appears that Henry Tudor is heading towards Lord Stanley. He must hope to persuade him to join the battle on his side. This action has not gone unnoticed by Richard. He's starting a cavalry charge. He's heading straight towards Henry Tudor with a force of 800 mounted men. This is a rash and daring move. It doesn't look good for Richard. Philbert de Chandy and his pikemen are moving into position to defend Henry. They're using a Swiss manoeuvre, never seen before in England. This is devastating for Richard's charge. However, the assault may, ex may yet However, the assault may yet succeed. Henry's standard bearer, William Brandon, has been slain. But no wait, Sir William Stanley has come to Henry's aid. He's turned on his king. This has turned horribly against Richard. He's been dismounted, and now the king has been slain. And with the death of Richard, his army has turned and fled. Join us again next week for more live battle commentary.